We have been working on double digit subtraction in our classroom and I wanted to demonstrate some of the strategies we've been using for the parents. I'm going to show you several ways to solve 52 minus 29, which is a subtraction problem where you have to regroup. Please feel free to review or practice these strategies at home with your child. One of the strategies that we use to solve a problem like this is to keep the first number intact and separate the second number into tens and ones. So 52 minus 20 is 32, and 32 minus 9 is 23. I could make my 9 a 10 and subtract 10 from 32 to get 22, and add my one too many that I took away back in to give me 23. Another strategy that we use is to make um, a friendly number. So if we have 52 minus 29, it would be a lot easier to subtract a friendly number from 52. I can make 29 a friendly number by adding 1. So I have 52 minus 30 gives me 22. I took away one too many, so I need to add that one back in. 22 plus 1 is 23. I can also use what we call the jumping method to solve this problem. Starting with the lowest number, I can add or count up to the highest number. 29 plus 10 gives me 39. Plus 10 more gives me 49. And then I need three more to get to 52. So 10 plus 10 plus 3 gives me 23. I can also um, add the same number to both sides to create a friendly number. I can do this by adding 1 to both sides. That would give me 53 minus 30 equals 23. When you do the same thing or add or subtract the same number to both sides, you're still keeping the same distance between the two numbers, so your answer will stay the same. We also use another strategy which we call slow money. And basically, let me rewrite the problem, 52 minus 29. We're going to think about this like we would money. So I'm going to draw $52. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I have five tens. And I have two ones. Here's $52. Now I need to take away $29. So I need to take away nine ones first. I look and I immediately see that I do not have enough ones to take away nine ones. So I'm going to draw a line here just so I don't get confused. I am going to take one of my tens and get some change. So now I'm going to have ten $1 bills on this side. Okay, I should still have $52, so here's 10 ones, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus 2 ones is 52, so I still have the same amount of money. Now, I can take away my 9 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I can take away 2 tens, 1, 2. How much money do I have left? I have two tens and three ones. Two tens is 20, plus my three ones would give me 23. We can also um, use a similar strategy, which we call fast money. 52 minus 29. I'm going to draw my $52 first. Okay, 
So I have $52. I need to give or take away 29, which is very, very close to 30. I don't have nine ones, but I do have $30. So if I gave them $30, how much change would they need to give me back? I gave them $1 too many, so they would need to give me a dollar back. So that leaves me with two tens, which is 20, plus three ones, which is 23. All right, we have one last strategy, which is the traditional strategy, where we write it vertically, which is actually very similar to slow money. 52 minus 29. Okay, I do not have enough ones here to take away nine. So I'm going to borrow a ten. So now instead of five tens, I have four tens, but I'm moving that ten to the one. So I have ten ones. Two ones plus ten ones is twelve ones. What is twelve ones minus nine ones? Be three ones. And then four tens minus two tens, or 40 minus 20 is 20. Two tens, so my answer is 23.